Good morning, good morning, guys. Oh, man, it's Monday morning. Sun is out pretty. We want to thank God that we are alive this morning. Oh, I am so tired. Uh, I don't know if y'all know. I work that place. I'm not saying its name because I'm angry with them. My feet hurt. They're burning and they're still burning. I can't get out the bed. Well, I can, but it just hurts my feet. Anyway, um, I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. I had a wonderful weekend working, uh, making money, of course. Thank God, you know, that he was able to wake me up to get there to work, you know, so I'm so thankful. Uh, <laughs> I am... Um, How can I explain it? Happy about working, but not happy about working. Okay. I'm thankful, you know, because I could be somewhere else, you know. So I'm I'm just so thankful. Uh this morning, oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm just ranting on and just going on. This is Jacqueline Richardson, Jackie Deja. Miss J.J. Diamond. How could I forget Miss J.J. Diamond? <laughs> Whatever. Y'all call me. Oh, my God. I am bugging this morning. But, yeah, that's me. Today, um, I got some things I want to talk about. Um, and one of the things I want to talk about is how black women are so disrespected. It's really getting to me. Um, we're disrespected when we go out. You know, we're disrespected when we have relationships. We're disrespected in the workplace. Um, we're just disrespected everywhere. You know, and then when we snap, you know, now they want to call us crazy. Okay, but you caused it. You know, this is something you caused because if you would treat me with respect. I wouldn't have to have all this armor up and on, okay, to help myself from being mentally uh, and emotionally broken down, okay? Um, I was looking at a a video uh, yesterday that uh, Yandy, I know a lot of y'all know Yandy from... um, it is a hip hop in New York. And um, she was talking about how <clears throat> people just assumed because, you know, she was somewhere with some people. You know, y'all can look at her posts on uh, Instagram. She was on a job <clears throat> and they were on tour. Um, they were playing cards on the, on the bus. And, you know, people just assumed they was in back of the bus doing something wrong. And she talked about how, you know, she felt so low and and didn't want it to go no further because she didn't want it to get out and have people disrespecting her based on somebody else's thoughts. Okay. And, you know, I recognized it because, you know, things like that happened to me as well, you know, where people make up stories about things that has never even existed, you know, and you saying to yourself, like, when, how, and where, because I wasn't there, you know. Um, but they have this thing that they always want to choose us women of color, you know, and try to make us look bad and and put us down. And it it just, um, it just, it drives me crazy, you know? Um, also I wanted to talk about a friend of mine from the Bronx that I grew up with, you know, we didn't hang out much, but, you know, we saw each other and sometimes we'd see each other at the same, say, party or on the block chilling, you know. Um, her name is Missy. And she experienced something crazy, you know. Um, she went to one of the Hilton hotels and I don't know where, what state it was in, okay. But um, this is telling y'all that we shouldn't support these people, okay? Um, No matter how much um, 
life they give us, meaning, you know, uh, the, the flamboyant lifestyle they give us when we go to these hotels. We need them to understand that our money should be respected just as well as our color. You know, um, I watched a show with her. Um, she was on, um, what was it, Dr. Phil's show, you know, talking about her issue. And when I watched the show, you know, it really disappointed me because, you know, they're quick to put something like that on TV about our color being hurt, okay, which is hurting us even more. It's, it's, it's putting it out there, yes, um, so people can recognize you know, what's happening, but it still hurts us even more. Okay. And for y'all that don't know, you know, I'm here for the youth. You know, I cover the youth no matter what, you know, and this is why I'm talking about her story because her kids were involved. Okay. And it's bad enough. You beat us down as black women, but you're not going to beat down our kids as well. Okay. And have them afraid to live. Because y'all feel like we just don't have enough, you know. Um, I've never personally experienced this, you know. And I've been to some of the finest hotels in in on the East Coast, okay. Um, however, the Hilton has definitely uh, surprised me with this one. How dare y'all tell her that she can cannot afford to stay at the Hilton? Okay, how dare you? Black people are educated. Black people have money today, you know? So what make you think she couldn't afford it? Even if she couldn't afford it, if someone gave it to her as a gift, it's her right to be able to come into a hotel and stay. And her kids shouldn't have have dealt with a police officer walking up to her. Um, And the reason why I'm talking about this is because y'all know, and I tell y'all all all the time, I was beat by 10 police officers and my daughter stood there and watched it. Okay. These type of things, okay, hurts children. Okay. It hurts their mind. They don't understand why. They're being targeted and they shouldn't be targeted. That's the problem. Okay. So. My thing is, when you decide that you want to judge someone because of the color of their skin, talking about how much money is in their bank account, excuse me, y'all, oh, I got indigestion. I am so sorry, y'all. Um, when y'all decide that y'all want to judge people based on their color instead of their bank account. You know, this is when we raise hell. Okay. And then you're doing it in front of the children. So now you're telling the children that they're not worthy of coming to the Hilton because of the experiences they experience. Is this what we want to show our black community? Did they check to see how many colored people live in the suburbs? Did they check to see how many colored people live in the rich, rich areas? Did they check that? But you want to check me because, not me, I'm not saying me. I'm saying color my skin because I am her when I speak to you guys. But you want to check me. When I check into your hotel and I have my children and you want to approach me in front of my children. Okay. This is where this thinking process thing come in again, people, you know, and I'm going to get back to the the Yandy situation. I want to get to some other situations uh, that have occurred and I need people to start using their thinking process. Okay. When you decide to start beating down a black woman, you're beating down her children as well, okay? Because her children are standing there and they're seeing the attitude, the, the, the um, emotions of their parents while you're putting them through this abuse. And that's what it is. It's abuse, people. 
Okay? And it's wrong. We cannot judge people based on color. Money doesn't have a, a, a significant color. It has only one, one color. That's it. It doesn't say black, brown, white. It's one color, green. And that's all they should be worried about is that green money paying that bill when they walk through that door. Okay? That's all they should be worried about. Not the fact that your skin can, can't afford it. Where we do this at? When we start doing this? I've stepped into Marriott's, and I mean from young, and have never had a problem because my, my card swiped. Okay, I don't know if downstairs, tell them, oh, we have a black woman in room <coughs> four, five, six, or whatever the room was, but they never gave me any disrespect. Stayed in the Hilton, okay, and never had any disrespect. And now, all of a sudden, in 2020, they're starting to disrespect us black women when we work just as hard as anybody else to make our money, and we should be um, able to take our families to a hotel and enjoy ourselves. I mean, how dare they? We're not going to talk politics. We're not going to talk uh, um, about racist people. We're not going to, you know, that's that's the thing. Everybody want to go politics and, and everything about when we go through these racist things or whatever the case may be. We're not going to talk politics because the Hilton is a brand. And y'all been serving us just as long as y'all been serving white people. We're not going to get into politics. Y'all need to give us our respect that's due because not all of us are broke. Okay. We own credit cards too. We have cars too. We have houses too. Okay. So I want to know when y'all started disrespecting the black community. When did this start? Because y'all ain't been doing it before. So, you know, I, I, I felt I felt some kind of way. Now, this child that experienced this cop coming up to his mother is going to think about this for the rest of his life. OK. He might even be afraid even once this go away. OK. And it's going to be a while being that it was on the Dr. Phil's. However, when it does go away. How is this child going to feel when he grow up and have kids? And he might get a, a corporate job where he has to stay in these hotels for the rest of his, you know, the, his job. How do you think he might feel dealing with you people? You think he's going to choose the Hilton brand? And he's a child. He's going to be the next one running this, this country. The next generation. So why would y'all do that? Why would y'all put that negativity into that child's head? Y'all know more and more of us are being educated now. So th this is why I don't understand. Why did, where where y'all doing this at? Why? We're sending our black kids to college now. Did y'all not get the memo? So they can make six figures. Coming through the door. Oh, y'all did not get the memo. And when they go on corporate trips. They might have to stay at the Hilton. Did y'all did, did not get the memo? We're getting jobs now that pay for our children's education. And if not all of it, some of it. Did y'all not get the memo? That a lot of us brown skinned people, children, are going to be educated and be in the corporate world. Did y'all not get that memo? So why would y'all destroy yourselves hurting a child that can be the same child to run the Hilton Corporation in the next 10 years? Okay? Now, whoever y'all hired, Hilton, y'all really need to get at them. You know, Missy was nice. She accepted uh, 
the, the apologies. But Miss JJ don't accept the apologies because you hurt one of the children and I fight for the children. I want a termination. Okay? Because you hurt our new beginning. That's where I'm at. I'm for the children. Okay? And, and, and I'm not saying I'm not for, for, for Missy. I love you too. <laughs> okay? But I'm tired of these people torturing our children. And then we grow up and we're tortured and don't know how to deal with things in the right process. Now they want to put us down every day of our lives because we were tortured as children. Throughout our families and the and the community and whatever else was around. And now we have to live with these things. They're not going to keep passing on that generational curse. They're not. That's why I'm here to teach these children every single day. Whether I do it via social media or I do it when I'm in the street. Okay, this is why we will break this curse of them making us feel like we're nothing. Even when we we share the same communities. It will end and I will keep fighting it until it will. Okay, and like I said, I'm not bringing politics into this. Because politics is not going to change this. It's the people. The way of thinking, the process of thinking, this is what needs to be changed. Everybody wants to be above somebody. And there's only one God. Okay? But no one gets the right to disrespect and judge others. And for those that didn't know, when Private Friend LLC was created, I'm talking about LLC now. Now we're not talking about incorporated. That is its slogan. We do not judge because we don't have the right to. Okay? No matter what a person is going through, we're not here to judge. And you know, sometimes I can find myself doing it as well, but I have to step back and do that Think and process thing again and say, hold on, wait a minute. Maybe let's give it a chance here. Okay? And that's the way we have to look at it. Before you go judging people. Because by judging people, you affected not only them, you could be affecting their whole family. Because of one. Because of how you felt. It's not about what you feel. You know, y'all start, y'all need to start putting on these job applications. Are you racist? Are they going to answer correctly? We don't know. They got on there. Do you have a disability? So y'all might as well add that to the application process as well. Are you racist? Because some people may say yes. Y'all may get it out of them. And you'll know not to hire them. You can't have racist people working for you. You just can't. Okay? And this goes out to the Hilton. Y'all need to check them people. ASAP. That baby should not have been set forth in front of a police officer. In this day and time, what we're going through with police officers. Because this woman felt like she couldn't pay. Who do who? Lord Jesus, I can't even get it out. Who does she think she is? I'm glad I don't know where that hotel is because I sure will walk in there and I will say some words to her kindly because y'all know how I do it because you know I get professional on them. Who, 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 who do you think you are?
It, it just gets to me. It's been sitting on my heart all week, and I couldn't wait till Monday um, to talk about this, you know, because, like I said, I give my money, you know, um, to a lot of hotels out here, you know. Uh, all my life, I've been staying in hotels, and like I said, I've never experienced, you know, like when I go to Atlantic City, they loves me, loves me, loves me. You hear me? Even the Marriott, they give me so much love, and quiet is kept. I haven't even been there yet because I don't feel the need because I already live in the city, but I'm going to one night just go and, and go to the Ballantyne Hotel and stay there just because they show me so much love, even though I've never even stayed there, you know? So, and that's what I want to tell a lot of y'all. Um, if y'all come to Charlotte, y'all make sure y'all go to the Valentine Hotel. They show me a lot of love. Y'all just tell them Miss JJ Diamond sent y'all. They know me, you know, they always show me love on Instagram, you know, and I show them love back, you know, beautiful place. I've been out there, but I've never physically stayed stayed there, y'all. So I do have to take some time out for Miss JJ and get my butt to the Valentine Hotel. They have these stairs that's so beautiful, and I want to take some pictures on that stairs. So I definitely got to get out there. So, yeah, we can leave the Hilton alone when y'all come to Charlotte. Okay? I just want to make that clear. We have the Valentine Hotel. Y'all would love Valentine, believe me. Y'all going to love it. It's a wonderful experience, okay? And they're going to treat y'all with respect. Just don't go tearing up nothing, because then I got to step to y'all, because y'all on my name, Okay? But um, for those that is, you know, respectful and kind and, you know, just want to come and have a good time and, and, and live life, the Ballantine Hotel is the best place to be when you come to Charlotte. OK, now I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say this is for the real money. OK. The real money. So, yeah. Anyway, we don't get back to. um. Black women, our skin, I don't care if you're Hispanic with dark skin. I don't care if you're Mexican with dark skin, you know, um, Indian with dark skin. Um, we're all treated with disrespect, you know, some form of fashion. You know, they have the need to give us some type of disrespect. You know, no matter how hard we work, okay, no matter how hard, how much we put into our families, they want to give us that disrespect, you know, and it has to stop and we have to stop showing weakness, people. You know, I have a couple of friends, you know, and they go through things, you know, and, you know, they want to holler out and they do it on Facebook and, and I understand, you know, their terminology, but they've made us even weaker by allowing us to put our lifestyles on Facebook, you know, and all it does is make us weaker, you know, and I want us to start, you know, standing strong for who we are and um, overcome, you know, that urge to put our business on Facebook, okay, because they play on that weakness. Even Facebook does it. Okay, when they see that you're going through something and you start going down your stream, they'll put stuff close to that to get your mind thinking about it, to make you write a post. Okay, they was doing it to me about my little brother. Okay, showing me rape victims. Okay, and this is why I I, I can't do Facebook. I get on there, I share my music, I'll talk to y'all about certain things, but that's about it. I get right off. Okay, so if I don't see y'all post, that's because that's one of the reasons why. Okay, I'm not going to let a social media community tell me about my life and torture me. Okay, and make me snap. I'm not going to do that. And this is why I want y'all to let this stuff go. Okay, this social media, this is my life. Okay, I want y'all to let that go. You know, I got one friend on there. She gets on there and she's she's always joking, you know, doing um doing um you know, just talking mess, you know. And a lot of them do, you know, and it makes us laugh, you know. Those are the type of posts that we want to see, y'all. 
because all social media is going to do is torture you. That's what they want you to do. They want you to be weak. Okay? They play on your emotions. They know your every move. They know where your location is. So they know the stuff that you're talking about is, is the truth or a lie. So if it's the truth, they're going to torture you with it. Just so they can break you down on social media. But then not only do you have the social media doing it to you, you have the people around you doing it to you. Breaking you down. Okay? So this is why we have to get stronger. We can't let them play with our minds. Okay? We just can't. We have to say enough is enough. And I'm tired of seeing my black sisters breaking down on social media because of things that they're they're making them watch. They're experiencing. And then we have to go out here in the community and still deal with these people that's breaking us down as well. Okay? It's hard as black women, especially the black skin, as hard as we work, we should never get disrespected. No way, no fashion, no how. Okay? You know, some of some, you know, this one guy, you know, he know who he is. He called me a white girl. He said, oh, you a white girl. I'm not a white girl because he, he feels like I'm not the average black woman. Okay? Well, no, it's not that I'm a white girl. Is that you've been dealing with basic black women. So, of course, you wouldn't know of a black, a black woman of my standards. Okay? It has nothing to do with me being a white woman. Okay? My standards is I take care of my home and everyone in it. That's my standard. I make sure they eat. I make sure their clothes is clean. I do what I'm supposed to. And if my house is about to fold, I'll go out and get a job to help it. Okay? That's what I do as a black woman. It has nothing to do with being a white woman. It has nothing to do with being bougie. It's just a black woman at a certain level of life. And it's a lot of us out here. Okay? A lot of us. It's just that you've been dealing with basic women all your life, so you don't know how to to gather a real black woman. Okay? And not all of us scream and holler all the time. Sometimes we do because we have to get our point across. Okay? Because we don't get any respect until we acting out. And that's what we need to stop. Why can't we sit down and talk about our issues and how we feel about a situation? Oh, we can't. You're going you're gonna to just say, oh, like you listening to a wall. But as soon as we start flipping out and acting crazy, now you want to listen. And then you want to say, oh, she's crazy. Oh, she's delusional. She's this. She's that. Breaking her down even more. Knowing that you were in the wrong from the beginning. This is why we starting to hate so many people. Yeah. We're getting to the point where we don't even want to be bothered with people. So we shelter ourselves and do our own things. Because of what we have to live with, not only in our homes... But in our communities, at our jobs, now at hotels, we used to be able to just go to a hotel and just have a night for ourselves. And now we can't even do that. You're taking that away from us because y'all want to be disrespectful to the color of our skin. That used to be the hideouts. People, you know, y'all got to get it together. Because it's going to come to a point where we're, we're, we are going to snap. All of us. Together. Do y'all know what our days are like being black single mothers? Okay, sometimes we can have a father there and you're still a black single mother. Running a household. And it's sad. We wake up working. To the time we go to bed, it don't stop. 
We don't have maids. We're not rich, rich, where we can lay in the bed all day and somebody, we, we ring a bell and somebody comes to our beck and call. So we have three, two, three, four children. We have to tend to each and every one of them. Here it is. I only got one small one, but I have four, three grown ones. That still call me when they're going through their drama and I got to help them out. I got to take time out of my day to sit down and talk to my children when they need me. Because if they ain't got nobody else, they got me. They mama. So I got to take time out. Mentally and physically to be there for them as well. And then I got to be put down because of it. I got to be called a white girl. I got to be called a B. I got to be called all these names because I'm doing what's right for my family. No, it has to stop. I'm not a B. Okay. Whether you call me that or not, I'm not. You will respect me. And I want y'all ladies to say this with me. Okay. I'm not a B. Oh, I'm not supposed to curse, but I, I'm, I'm going to say this word. I'm not a bitch. And you will respect me. You will say please and thank you when you need something done. You will be patient if I'm already engaged with one thing or one child or one person. You will give me the love I deserve. And if you don't, get away from me. Because I don't need you. Because I'm a black woman and I need love. Because I give out a lot of love. That's what we do as black women. We love. And if you can't love us the same way. Go away. We're not perfect people. And we all unique on how we do things. But it's one thing that all black women have in common. And we love. We love hard. Even back in slavery times. And we was, we was slaves living in maids and uh, um, care sitters. For white people, we loved. Even though they hated us, we still loved. Y'all will not continue to beat us down. It stops here. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We give so much love that y'all take that as a weakness. It's not our fault that this is what runs through our blood to love. It's not our fault. For us to love our families, love our children. Like I said, we make mistakes, but we still love. No, I, I talk about my mom a lot, you know. Because my mom had an addiction and we went through a lot in our family. But my mother still loved me and I know she did because she taught me. She gave me knowledge. Okay? And that's the best love you can give anyone. So... When I speak to y'all, she's speaking to y'all too. Because the knowledge that she gave me, I give to you. The same with the rest of my ancestors. But, but just because they allowed, my ancestors allowed y'all to beat them down, I'm not. I will fight this war to the bitter end. 
There will not be another nigga that's going to beat down this black skin because I'm a woman. Enough is enough. You will give me the respect that's deserved because anytime you need me as a black woman, I'm there. You will not. I will fight this for war to the bitter end. You know, these people, are they're crazy. They're crazy. They just don't get it. You don't hurt the help. Because when you hurt the help too much, then the, the help can't help you no more. What part you don't get? You hurt the help, then the help is gone. And I'm tired of seeing myself and my other friends and just black women in general going through the same thing. You tear down the help and the help is no longer there to help you. Okay? So, you make the choice. Your world, your choices. And don't think that you're going to go get another beautiful brown skinned woman and you're going to beat her down as well. Because she's going to see what we're teaching today. Love the skin you in, women. You must love the skin you in. Because we love. We are love. I love you all. I see y'all tomorrow. This is Jacqueline Richardson. Deja. Miss JJ Diamond. Jackie. Whatever y'all call me. I love y'all all. Love this beautiful brown skin. Love them beautiful brown eyes. Them cheekbones and everything about you. Because you are love. I see y'all tomorrow.